Hey guys, just in Ho Chi Minh City today, and while I'm here, I don't have a lot of time, so there's one thing I really wanted to see, and that's the War Remnants Museum. Uh, and that's, I guess, because I was raised in America, I always heard about the Vietnam War from my parents and their generation, and this is the one museum where I can kind of learn a bit more about what happened. And uh, I think the overall message here is just going to be that war is bad for everybody. You know, there are no winners and losers, and uh, this museum will help me get a better understanding for what happened here and um, what our parents' generation went through. So let's go and take a look at this place. The Vietnam War was a conflict that officially lasted 20 years, from 1955 until 1975. The North Vietnamese, backed by China and Russia, and the South Vietnamese, backed by the USA, fought over political ideologies and how the nation would be governed. Would they have a communist or democratic government? It was a brutal struggle that left more than 3 million people dead, including 58,000 US soldiers and countless civilians. So just outside the main museum area here, they actually have this huge uh, kind of park here with all these old military machines that uh, were brought here by the U.S. during the war. And I guess they um, captured them and then put them on display here so you can kind of take a look at uh, the things that were used for war back then. It's also just... Uh, Again, a very grim reminder of our history and our past here in Vietnam and uh, what we did. So this section of the museum is actually part of some of the original cells that uh, the U.S. and the French used. They even imported guillotines here uh, to cut off the heads of uh, enemy combatants, I guess, just to show a sign of force. Seems really barbaric today. cells they could look down and just watch the prisoners from above. So far, this museum has done a really good job on putting a face to war crimes, and that's exactly what happened here. You know, with the murder of so many innocent people and people who uh, just got caught up in the war. It's so tragic and so, you know, disturbing to see that, but everybody should know. I mean, it's good to understand what really happened here.
a lot here in the museum that talks about the peace process and about all the movements to uh, help stop the war and find a better solution. And there's even uh, a wall here that talks about the USGIs that actually helped save Vietnamese lives during the war and how much they admire these people for going against their own government and um, trying to protect innocent lives. And that's really interesting because I don't think you hear that side of it very often in the U.S. Um, so it's really important to get the Vietnamese um, side and to understand how they felt during the war. So ironically enough, when this museum first opened, it was called the Museum of U.S. War Crimes and Aggression, and then they subsequently changed it over the years to the War Reminisce Museum. But this whole wing of the museum is just kind of dedicated to showing these war crimes and the weapons used, as well as lots and lots of artillery shells and uh, different kinds of automatic weapons. It's really, really, uh, it's hard to look at a lot of it because it really shows you the true cost and the true nature of war and what it really does to people, especially the people living in the countries where the war is happening. Um, so I'll just show you guys a little bit of the stuff in this room. So in this particular section of the room, they show you the effects of chemical weapons on the human body and what it does to people. And it's very disturbing, but again, just needs to be shown so you understand why they've been outlawed, why we can't use them anymore. So the part of the museum behind me is especially hard to look at because it's the effects of war on children through their paintings and their drawings. So the museum here is actually quite large. There's actually three stories, so three floors to check out with lots and lots of stuff from the war. So hey guys, final thoughts on uh, visiting the museum here. I would say if you only have one day and not a lot of time in Ho Chi Minh City, this is the one place you want to come. You want to see this museum. Uh, I've never seen anything like it anywhere else. And it really, really gives you way more perspective than I ever got growing up in the US and hearing stories about the Vietnam War. And you're gonna see things that are really gonna make you feel bad and gonna disturb you, but that's the whole point, right? You really need to see what happens so you know the cost of war. And so we hopefully never do this again. This was a horrible thing that happened here. And um, very sobering. But again, this is the one thing you should do if you come.